they thought of maybe bring supplies a big bus they fill up um, from outside ukraine in yeah. austria right yeah. they fill it up with supplies yeah. go to the border yeah. um unload the supplies yeah. and then fill it up with people yeah so that's the whole idea and so i decided to come with them so i had a google translate start to- talking to locals and all that imagine for 28 26 hours we're just sitting down there just talking to people mm-hmm, mm-hmm. no one <laughs> no one's translating <laughs> for me and I remember there was this boy. And if you have been following me on Instagram, you probably also fell in love with this boy. Uh-huh. His name was Artem. Mm-hmm. Artem, uh, his family evacuated uh, a town called Konotov. And it was bombed by the Russians. And so they decided to flee driving across uh, Kiev. Mm-hmm. And it was very dangerous. They went to the western part, crossed the border... Uh, him and his sister and his older sister and his mother. His mother. And so we we rode with them with the bus. Mm-hmm. And this kid started talking to me. And I remember the first message he gave me in a Google Translate. He said, I really like English, but I don't know how to speak it. But it's almost like he's telling me, can you engage in a conversation mm-hmm. with me? It was very sweet. Yeah. And I was like, man, this is, this is so cool. And so I started to talk to him in Ukrainian and Russian using Google Translate. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And we have this conversation. He likes boxing. And then he asked me if we could have a, a push-up competition. We have push-ups. I remember doing magic tricks, you know. And, and I remember he was telling me all this stuff for 26 hours. Just mm-hmm. sat down there talking about life through Google Translate. Of course, it was very, very, it's a little bit difficult. And it can be very annoying because I can't express what I really think. But it was good enough that we were able to have this connection. And right after the trip, I've never forgot this. He typed it in Google Translate and he said, I'm so happy that you were part of the trip and you're my best friend. That felt really good. <laughs> that felt really good. I was like, man, if I'm not paid doing this job, if I get paid that month only doing that. I'm he like, said one more thing. He said, you're a super pastor. Oh, yeah. That was the end of the trip. <laughs> he, so he told me, because he never thought I was a pastor. So I was like, he never believed I was a pastor. And at the end, he was like, man, you're a super, super pastor. pastor. Wow. And that was super like, pastor. Really yes. touched by that.